Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, I'm going to look at my top five extensions and this is just the first video in a series of videos where I'm going to be sharing some Chrome extensions. Now, Chrome extensions are amazingly powerful tools that you can use to add functionality onto your Chrome devices. Now, I've got my Chromebook right here and some things are just not possible with a Chrome browser or Chrome OS. And I'm going to run you through an entire list of extensions that have been proven to work well with teachers and students alike. Now I'm going to try and break it down into blocks of five extensions for each of these videos and the first five are right here. Also if you have a favorite extension for Chrome let me know in that comment section below. Now let's dive into it. Now the first extension on our list has to do with the learning in class and the title of this extension is insert learning. Now what is insert learning? Now insert learning is an extension that is going to allow you to use any website as a resource. Now you can go onto a website, simply click on that extension and what you can do now is you can annotate this website. You can add notes, you can even insert a video into that website. You can insert comments and you can ask your students follow-up questions. Now I love this tool because it allows us to use websites which are chock full of amazing resources to use in class and we can now turn these into fully fledged lessons. So that's our first extension. Now the second extension also has to do with learning but it's a very different type of learning. Now the second extension is titled Screener. Now Screener allows you to take a screenshot and then annotate this with comments. Now what's different about this and other screenshot software is that Screener works similar to Google Docs. So it means that you can add comments onto that screenshot, but they will appear to the side of your image. This means it doesn't interfere with the website layout or with the images on this website. This also means that you can use this to take a screenshot of let's say an image or a design and then ask follow-up questions. Now we've used this in design lessons and it's proven very successful when you're giving feedback or asking follow-up questions. And those are the first two extensions. Now these both have to do with the learning that takes place in the classroom. And this brings us to the third extension. And this is an extension that really I personally think you should have installed on every single Chrome profile and that is the password checkup. Now this is an extension built by Google and this was built in response to the many data breaches that have been happening on various websites. Now whenever one of these breaches is leaked or Google is made aware of it, it puts all the information into a giant database and password checkup is going to go through that database whenever you're logging into a website. If it comes across your login credentials as in your name or your password combination it will give you a warning and you will know that your information has been leaked and it's time to change your password. So we've now had two extensions that talk about the learning in class. We've had one about security and the next two are all about productivity, getting work done. Now I love using my Chromebook for that simple reason. It boots in seconds and it gets work done. I don't have to waste time opening and loading different programs and my Acer Chromebook just opens up no problem. Now what does sometimes hinder the productivity is the vast amount of information available in your browser. Now there are two extensions that can help you with this. Now the first one is called Toby for Chrome. Now Toby can be called a bookmark manager but this is a bookmark manager next level. Basically what it looks like is as soon as you click on Toby you will be able to add different tabs or websites into collections. Now these collections are the power of Toby. What a collection does is it allows you to instantly open all the tabs within a collection. So let's go ahead and open up Toby. You can see I have a range of tabs available here and I have two different collections. I have a collection for my flipped classroom tutorials channel and a collection for this app events demo. Now I'm going to select one of these collections and I'm going to open up all the tabs. Now how do you do that? Simply click on open all tabs. This is now instantly going to open up all the tabs in this collection and it saves me time from having to go through my bookmarks and open them one at a time. Now you can build these collections 
to contain whichever websites you would like to use and you can quickly add them by clicking on that extension at the top. And then finally, when you have multiple tabs open, the fifth extension for today is Tab Resize. Now, once you've installed this, Tab Resize will allow you to resize all your tabs and just make it more user-friendly. Let's say that you are working on reports and you need some student information and some data, simply open them up in two separate tabs and then you can click on tab resize. Now tab resize is going to read the tabs that are open at the moment, and then it gives you some options on how you can resize these. An incredibly useful application when you're working on Chrome OS or within a Chrome browser. Now, there are literally hundreds of extensions available and we've only covered five. Now, if you enjoy these videos, let me know and I will cover even more extensions that you can use on your Chromebooks. Now, I will be making a separate video entirely dedicated to screencasting because there are many, many different extensions available that allow you to record your screen and record video footage but that topic requires a video on its own. I hope you found this helpful. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.